Our city is growing dramatically right now. We're the fastest growing city in Kentucky. About 10% of the population of the city is refugees. I don't know if Bowling Green has done all that we can to facilitate good, you know, neighborly presence um, with the refugees. Here at the International Center of Kentucky on Kenton Street in downtown Bowling Green, we've set up a commercial garden with refugee farmers. Uh, and it's right here. I'm the farm manager here and I work with the refugee farmers to train them not necessarily in farming techniques because they're already skilled farmers in many cases but here in the United States being a farmer or growing vegetables and making a living as a farmer are two very very different things. One of the biggest challenges for the refugees once they get here is sustainable employment just like anybody anybody needs a job anybody needs employment you know in order to have money to get by and so the question is where are you going to get it uh, current employment for the refugees is largely out of the city it would be better if it's right here in the city they don't all have transportation everywhere so we get them to their places of employment and back to the international center uh, but it would be better if they were right here among us. We believe with Kentucky State University and the U.S. Department of Agriculture that we can help provide an opportunity for sustainable employment in a way that's a very dignified manner of being a market farmer. This lawn was an unused lawn, formerly designed for a building to be set upon, but that didn't happen. And it actually belongs to the U.S. Bank, but they donated it to us at the International Center if we would use it for a garden purpose. As we, as we go forward in this project, we're going to try to integrate it with other existing farmers markets and restaurants in the local community. This is just a small plot, but it's got a lot of produce in it. And we have an opportunity to expand to an up to five acre plot at Ephraim White Public Park next year in partnership with the city of Bowling Green. That size plot and that size agricultural system would really enable us to grow the quantity of produce and rotations uh, that we could get it into established markets and it would start supplying a real income um, over the seasons uh, to the refugee farmers. 100% of the sales of all of this commercial garden project go directly to the refugees who are actively farming and selling the produce. We think that it's a good opportunity to enable them to have that direct employment on the land in a way that they're basically community resilient farmers right here. And then when we're outside, we're just having a really good time. And, um, you know, I've just enjoyed conversations, particularly about different languages and locations that people are from. You know, while we were planting the garlic, we talked about where we were from. And of course, there is the stark reality of, you know, people who have had to flee their, their home. Um, like one of my friends here told me that they, they left their fields with the crops standing in them because of civil war. So, you know, it was, that's a humbling experience to hear.